In this video, I'm going to show you how to record an invoice as paid, but a common scenario. A common situation would be that maybe a customer or a client paid you one amount, but it was actually covering multiple invoices. So they paid you one amount, one total full amount that was paying multiple invoices. So how do we do that in QuickBooks Online? So here's how to do it. Where we are right now is, I'll scroll up, we are in the sales center and then we're in the all sales page. So that's where we are, we're in all sales. Okay, so let's say we've already covered how to create a new invoice. So we're just gonna work with, um, we're gonna pick an existing invoice that's already been entered. And let's say that, let's say that we have this invoice to Freeman Sporting Goods. We have invoiced Freeman Sporting Goods and now they have paid us, but they paid us for a few invoices. So how can we record that? Freeman Sporting Goods, what we can do is either find the invoice on the list. So that was one of them, but let's say we found another one. So um, you could either find one of their, their invoices on your list and then click the link for receive payment, or you could do the plus new in the top corner. You could do plus new receive payment. Um, so you could do that as well. So either way you could um, go to either place. So here we're on our invoice row and we're gonna select invoice payment. But so because we're selecting that row, um, then it's already filling in the customer for us. So that saves us a few seconds of time. Um, so there we have our customer name, but it's just selecting one of the invoices because we were just clicking the receive payment button for one of those invoices. So that makes sense, but that's not what happened. He actually paid us for all three of these invoices. Now we have more open invoices recorded in QuickBooks, but it's only showing us the open invoices for Freeman Sporting Goods. So that's really nice. Let's say you had a lot of open invoices for Freeman Sporting Goods. You could um, filter it or just search the invoice number to bring it up. So if you've got a, lot, a long list here, you could use that to help you. But in our case, we only have three. So he paid us for all three at once. So he gave us $205, but that's paid for three of the invoices. So here, um, and we'll just do our normal, our no normal entries here of that he paid us on the first, and it was with a check number. And again, as I've mentioned in other videos, this will be a separate topic for a separate video, but most of the time you want it to say this. Um, your account might have it called payments to deposit. So yours might be called payments to deposit or it might say undeposited funds. It's the same, same idea. So most of the time you want that selected. Okay, so back to Freeman Sporting Goods. He paid us $205 and that's what totals up for these three invoices, so that's great. But let's say that um, you're not really sure which invoices this pays for. You know, you know he was paying for some of it, but um, but you're not sure which invoice. Maybe there's more invoices here, and you can't remember. You know, you see here it's June, July, August. So maybe they're just you've got quite a list here of more invoices. So to kind of try to figure out which ones he owes you you know for sure he paid you $205. So let's just enter that one in. And let's come over here, come back. And this time we're gonna enter $205. And then notice this time it just checked them all off because QuickBooks realized, oh, they, they have, you know, it's got a little calculator in QuickBooks. So, um, when we entered the $205, it realized, oh, well, that's the total of all three of these. He must have been paying all three. So that's that's great. And sometimes it's very helpful. I was just like, it is a software, so it could be wrong. So I just like to double check it. And you know, all three are checked off. The total is 205, and that is what we received. 
And we know, yes, these are the three invoices that he paid. Maybe you've got a longer list. There's more open invoices for that customer. In that case, you just want to make sure maybe these three happen to total to 205, but maybe it's actually other invoices that it was paying if you had a longer list. You know, if you've got maybe 10 open invoices for this customer, just double check. Did it happen to come out to 205 for these three? Or no, these are really the three that he was trying to pay. So, um, so it's always good to double check that. But in our case, we know, well, there's only three invoices here and it does total up and we know, yes, these are the invoices that he owed us for. So that's where it can be very helpful to kind of use it that way. Let's also do it a little differently. Let's do, so that's, so in that case, you know, it was $205, clearly that's the total of all three and we can save and close and just make sure that they are checked off. Okay, so we could just do save and close, but let's do it a little bit differently. So let's come back into it and receive payments. But let's say he didn't pay us the full amount for all three. Let's say he paid us for multiple invoices, but it didn't cover the total. It was a, it was a partial payment, but for multi, across multiple invoices. So let's say that he actually paid us. So we know that the total of these three is $205, but let's say he just paid us $150. So let's see what happens. So again, QuickBooks has a little calculator in it. So it tried to do the math for you, which is great. Um, it tried to figure out, you said, we just typed in 150. So you told QuickBooks, okay, I was paid $150. So then it automatically tries to figure out, okay, so that is enough to cover. And they're gonna go start with the oldest invoice. So they're saying, okay, that's enough to cover all of this invoice and most of this invoice, this is $80, um, but it's enough to cover most of this. So basically he didn't pay for this one and he paid, there, there'll be a $5 that he didn't pay for this one. So that is, and then I just always double check. So it just automatically kind of did that for us as we saw, it was very quick, but I always double check because it is a software. Um, double check to see, okay, yes, that's what I want the oldest first to be paid and then most of this next one. Um, if in your case, you know for sure, no, he was specifically paying for the two most recent ones and we're trying to work something out about an older invoice. So then you could just change it. If, if you know, that's QuickBooks just kind of did that for you to be helpful. But if you know it's different, you could change it. You could say, no, he was actually paying me for the two most recent, the July and August. And we're gonna, we're gonna work out the details of this one later. So then it will change it. <clears throat> it will change it for you. And then you can see that 80 and 50 does not total up to 150. So then there's an amount to credit of $20. So what you could do is say, well, if he's gonna have a credit of $20, I still have an open invoice. So let's just put the 20 towards that old invoice. So now there won't be some credit hanging out in QuickBooks waiting for waiting to happen. Um, there way you can show that 150 did actually get paid two invoices, but there's gonna be a balance for the first one. So fully, he fully paid for the August invoice. He fully paid for the September invoice, or I'm sorry, it's over here. He fully paid for the July invoice and the August invoice. It's the June one that there's gonna be a balance because it's 75 and he only paid us for $20. So let's see what happens when we save that. So 150 and we have it checked off, make sure it's all checked off of what you need. Save and close. All right, so that was invoice, the one that got partially paid, that was invoice number 1028. So let's go find that. And then you can see, now there's different ways to try to find something and bring something up. You could use the magnifying glass 
and if it will come up no yes okay all right so here you could just enter if you know the invoice number or the amount you could type it into the magnifying glass search and there you go invoice 1028 that's what we want oh, click that and then we can see so that brought up the invoice the payment is over here on the right um the link to it but you'll see total 75 amount received 20 but the balance due is $55. So then you can let him know and say, great, you paid for two invoices and part of the third one, um, part of that June invoice, you still owe $75. So, and then when you're ready to do that, like we covered before in the other video, for a partial payment, we can just come here. We can either click into the invoice, click receive payments, or you can find it on your invoice list. That was back in June. There's the invoice 1028. So what we just saw, you could click, click it open and click the receive payment button. Or if you see it already on your list, you could just come here, receive payments. And then it knows there's a balance of $55. So they're just assuming he paid you $55. So we're gonna assume as that so we're going to assume the same thing and say, yes, he did pay us that $55 maybe on the next day. And that was by cash. So then we will save and close. And then those are done. So that June invoice, now it is, no, that's not it. Yep, our June invoice, here it is. It is marked as paid. Okay, so that is how to or different, different ways that you can show up that you received a payment, but it was for multiple invoices, or even if some of the invoices were paid and it partially paid another invoice. So that's what to do and how that works in QuickBooks Online. If you need to just see how to just a partial payment for just one invoice, um, that is in a separate video. So that is how to record payments, common situations to record payments for invoices. And I will see you in the next video.